Hey everyone, I've got a um, update on the computers. Um, quite a big update actually. I'll flick you around. That is working. I took the motherboard out of the other computer that I had, threw it in this one, um, mainly because this was the cleaner, tidier case. Otherwise, I would have just taken the power supply out and threw it in the other one. I tell you. And um, coincidentally, the hard drive I picked up to put in this one already had Windows 98 installed. Then I realised what I had done is already installed Windows 98 on the hard drive, but stored it in the cupboard. I'd forgotten about that. Ready for when I got a power supply for the other case. That's what I was actually looking for originally. But like I said, this e-machines case came along much better condition it just had a dead motherboard which is this one here don't actually know why I've kept it because it is dead pretty certain it's dead anyway um, I'm actually having second thoughts because I can't remember now I'm gonna have to retest that one but pretty certain that one no it isn't I got that one working I just remembered I did get that one working um, the only one that I haven't tested, there's a couple that I did bother testing because they were like for um, specific PC cases like HP and Acer cases. So they wouldn't have been transferable into another computer case. So they just weren't worth, in my eyes, the hassle to see if I could get them working. So anyway, this is the only one I have not tested. And um, I have Googled it. It's DDR4. It supports, I'm just trying to remember, 7th, is it 7th and 8th generation Intel processors. Uh, I can't remember, Intel i something or other processors. My mind's gone. Uh, yeah, PCIe 3 on this. Um, supports front USB, but I can't test it because... Don't know if the processor I've got in my other board will work in this one. I don't have 4 gig or any DDR4 RAM. My brother does, so RAM's not actually a problem. But I do not have an 8 pin um, or power supply with an 8 pin connector for that on there. So, my brother said he needs to get such a power supply, so. I don't know if he's got the processor either. If he has, great, because then I'll throw them on there and test this board. Um, I've cleaned it up, as you can tell. I've cleaned it up um, quite a bit, actually. See, it's come up quite nicely when you look at that. But that's the only bit you're going to see mostly, so... But, um, yeah, the other three here... I've done a bit of cleaning around here. I haven't used any special cleaning fluids or anything. I've literally just taken the steel wool to the rust and given it a rub down. But I got all three of these working. Now you remember from the first video, one of these actually was, had just mud and crap everywhere, especially between all these slots and everything. I cleaned it all off with a paintbrush. I just brushed it all down. Um, and I've actually found that when I initially tried these motherboards, I didn't even power on. But I actually found that changing this BIOS battery for one that actually worked, because they were dead as a doornail on these, and um, plugging in the video and everything, and the RAM, and woof, they powered straight up, all three of them. <laughs> I actually couldn't believe it, to be honest. I seriously couldn't. Um, I'm sure one of these is actually DDR2. That's DDR400, so... Uh, which actually surprised my brother, because it's not this one. I think it's these two, actually. These are DDR400 as well, so these are just your DDR RAM, before DDR2 and everything came out. But look at the connectors on it, look. There's external SAR, optical audio, HDMI, 
DVI, VGA, only one socket there. I don't know if you can actually plug a keyboard and a mouse in there, or if it's just keyboard. Some of them that do that, you can actually plug either or in. Just actually on this other one here. That's an ASRock. This one is an Asus, which has actually got the... Um, Oh, it's got an AM Diathlon in it. Oh, yeah. So this one might be able to take a dual... Ah! This one is the DDR2 board. It's only got three SAT connectors, but that's also got external SAT there. And HDMI, DVI, VGA, blah, blah, blah. blah. And you can see I've given that a bit of a clean down as well. Could do with a better one, but like I said, I've not actually used any actual cleaners or anything. That one already worked. Oh yeah, it's these two that are pretty much identical. So who made that one? So brand on this one. It's got ATI graphics on it. Hmm. There is a model number there, so if I Google that, it will probably come up. But this has got that weird AMD processor on it, the AMD Opteron. I have never ever heard of that. So I'm going to actually Google that as well. I'm actually surprised this... Oh, it's got six channel audio. Yeah, this is just a standard XP board. I don't think that would be anything spectacular. ASRock, Asus, Fox... Oh no, that's ASRock. Sure, I saw a Fox Com a minute ago. Is it this one? Sure, I saw one of these that had Fox Con on it. Oh, that's a gigabyte. Oh, it's got oh gigabit lamb, dumbass. <laughs> Read the boards properly, dipstick. Right. I'm actually quite happy. I mean, I could use these to run my own computer. I don't think I'd feel comfortable using these board. Well, that one maybe in an XP. So I had an, I've got an itchy elbow right in the joint. Yeah, that one's just an old XP board. That work has in good condition. So these ones probably use again in an old XP build or something if I got bored. That one. You know, I know they work, but how much would you trust them? <laughs> That's the main question. Would they be trustworthy? I mean, I can't see no damage on the capacitors or anything on these boards. The only damage I can see is just basically the surface rust on the metal work. Around the metal cans on all of the I.O. That's pretty much the only damage there is. There's no other damage on it. No. Same with that one. Actually, apart from these, they've got a funny colour. Um, so <laughs> it's just a matter of would you trust them or not. There was another one. I couldn't get it to work, but I might have another go just because I'm bored. It's actually in the bin, but there's nothing else in the bin. It's just motherboards that I didn't want to piss around with or whatever. Turn the light on. I got that one to fire up as well. I actually just put in a different RAM stick. I am um, putting one of these actually and it fired straight up. So that's what the problem was. It didn't like the RAM I was using. <laughs> yeah. That's the motherboard I want to use to replace what I've got in my computer. Well actually that's going to be all for a new build. Um, I keep talking about it. It's got 8 gigabytes of RAM sitting on it but I'll take the 12 gigs off the other motherboard when I get to swapping it. Um, yeah. But uh, actually I'm probably still going to go with this one. Possibly the DDR4 if it works and if I can get it to run stable. 
So I'd have to build that into a case and run it, you know, all day just to see if it runs stably, if it does work. So, uh, as far as I know, this one's still working. Oh yes! I tried that on another machine. It, there was no beeping or anything, so it's just this Dell not liking this video card for some reason. So that does work. Um, where's the other? The one that was in the Dell in there, it was definitely dead. I tried that on other boards, nothing. But this one fired up on another board, so this one works. That one kind of does, but it's got issues. Um, everything is all just scrambled on screen when that one runs. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that one yet. Uh, it could be in the pile to try to fix, or it could just end up in the bin. But this is going to be my next project, I think, to get running. I need some more DDR2 RAM because it's only got a gig on there, I think. No, it hasn't. It's still got the 250, no, the 512 megabytes of RAM still installed. Um, I'm going to Google the model of this and uh, see what the maximum RAM is. It's dual channel, so I would like to occupy all of it. I would like to, uh, you know, try and turn it into some sort of storage server, maybe. Home server. And I can put two hard drives in here. So, might as well make use of it, might as well. Pull the thing off one of the broken motherboards, a cable, and that came with it. <laughs> Typical. Yeah, so, just a little update on these computers. TV was working, now the screen's gone all funny on it, so tempted to give up on that. Uh, getting this set up slowly. I think this might have built in free view, I'm not sure. Be great if it has. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. Like I said, just a quick update. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.